Hey everyone, Matt here with Night Run Studio. We've got our player moving around now, but it's kind of lame without the camera following him. So in this video, we're going to use Cinemachine to get the camera moving around. We're also going to add a couple features to give us some control over the way it tracks. Let's get started. So first off, the easiest and most basic way to get your camera to follow the player is simply to drag it onto the player and make it a child. This is not necessarily recommended, but if you're looking for just a quick, easy fix, it is one way to make it happen. Downside of this is that if you do things like flip your player or have him get destroyed, it will do those same things to the camera, which can definitely be an undesired effect. It's also a very rigid follow. So in order to get a little more flexibility and avoid some of those problems, we're going to use the Cinemachine camera. I'll show how to put it on the player, but also how to adjust a couple of features to make it work well. Cinemachine does require an added package, so we'll go to Window, Package Manager. Make sure to select the Unity Registry, and here we can just search up Cinemachine. Once that's installed, you will have access to the Cinemachine camera, and you can just right-click in your hierarchy, go down to Cinemachine, and create a virtual camera. What this camera does is it essentially controls what the main camera sees. And so we can change features here to make our camera display what we want it to. At this point, I'll just take a second to unparent my main camera from my player. And I'm actually just going to create an empty game object here, which we'll call cameras. And I'm just going to use this to organize everything to do with my cameras in order to keep my hierarchy a little cleaner. All right, now to get our camera following our player, it's actually as easy as filling this follow box here. We'll just drag our player right in there. And with that little tweak, you should already have a camera that follows the player pretty nicely. And if that's all you're looking for, then you could stop the tutorial right here. That said, I want to just explore two ways we can adjust our camera in order to create different experiences and how the camera frames and follows the player. The first option we're going to look at here is just changing the body on your camera to framing transposer. This just allows you to have a whole bunch of new controls over how the character is framed and tracked within the picture. For example, you can play with your offset if you want the player to always be framed a little higher or lower in the picture. You can also play around with look ahead time, which simply moves the camera in the direction you're currently moving so that you can see what's coming ahead. This is especially useful in games where there may be enemies ahead that the player needs to be alerted of. Another feature that you may want to use if you want a more static camera is implying a dead zone, and all this does is it just expands an area in which the player moves where the camera won't follow. So this allows for a little more Legend of Zelda Link to the Past almost style camera where the world mostly stays in place, but then moves once you reach the edge of the screen. Playing with look ahead time and dead zone are just two ways of adding extra controls to your camera, and I hope you found those helpful. If you have, please be sure to like or subscribe to the channel, or just leave me a comment down below. Till next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.